Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a pretty cool review video today. I found this. This is called an Odour gas <laughs> heater. Okay, so this is the Odour gas heater and it's rated between 4,000 and 10,000 BTU, which is a little bit higher than the little buddy right here. I think the little buddy is rated between 4,000 and 9,000 BTU, but this guy here cost a about 20 bucks less and it has a function that you can cook on it now I know that with the little buddy here you can actually rig it up so that you can cook something on or, or at least heat water but this one right here has a function that you can cook on it so what I'm gonna do is is I already turned my heater off I turned the heat off to the bunk already it's not that cold outside it's like seven degrees outside right now and inside the bunker is 65 degrees. So we're going to see if we can at least maintain 65 degrees at 10,000 BTU or to see if it gets hotter or colder. I'm only going to have this on for about an hour or so. That should be enough time to, to know whether it's going to maintain the temperature or not. But there's something unique about this heater that I haven't seen in other heaters before. That's why I decided to pick it up. The first thing is that you can cook on it, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And the second thing is that it can take butane or propane and I'm going to show you how that works as well that's what got me most interested in this is that it can use butane as well you know the the cans of butane we're going to go ahead and hook it up to both we're going to boil some water on it see how long it takes and we're going to see if it can maintain the bunkers temperature at about 65 degrees for an hour or so now in addition to receiving the Odour heater I just love that name you know that somebody made it up right in addition to receiving the Odour heater, you receive an owner's manual or an instruction manual, which in my opinion is terrible. <laughs> Let me tell you that. And uh, But it's easy enough to figure out how to use it if you've used other similar devices. But it will get you through it. You're just going to have to look at it more than once. And it's only like three pages long. Uh, you also receive a hose so that you can hook up propane to it. Now let me go ahead and show you what this little model looks like. And uh, the couple of things that I find unique about it. So this is what it looks like. Right? This is it right here. Now in here, you can see that that's where your bottle goes. You just take your butane bottle and it goes right in here. And I'm going to show you when I hook it up. But there's something else that you can do with this that I've never seen in any other model. And that's this. You see this little knob right here? Where is it? This right here. You see how it goes in and out? So right now, the way that it's set up, is so that you can cook on it. You can heat a room just the way it is, but it's set up so that you can put a pot on top of the grill. But if you want it to go vertical, you just push that little knob right there, and you push it up, and there you go. Now you got it set up so that it'll go vertical. All right, so let's go ahead and hook up our bottle of butane to it first. And run it for, I don't know, let's run it for about half an hour to an hour. Let's see. Now, before we hook that up, let me go ahead and talk to you about butane and propane. All right. Butane and propane are very similar in BTU. So one pound of butane, which is twice as much as this. These bottles are about 8 ounces or 8.1 ounces. Let's check it. 8.8 .8 ounces. So this bottle, when it's full, is about twice as big as this bottle. This bottle right here, when it's full, costs about, I don't know, a dollar or two less than this bottle, at least here where I'm at. These bottles are usually about $4 a piece. These are about, I don't know, if you can find them on sale, you can find them for about four or five bucks a piece. So these are about twice as much as this when you compare the amount of fuel in them. Now, each pound of butane has about 21,000 BTU. Each pound of propane has about 21,500, 21,600 BTU. However, again, remember that this bottle equals to about half of what this equals to. So should I purchase this? I would probably more than likely rather use it with propane than with butane because it's a lot more efficient or cost effective. However, it does give you an option. What if you have some of these laying around or you know someone that has some of these laying around? You can barter something with them to get some because you just ran out of these guys, right? So it does give you an option and I really like to have options. I like to diversify in everything as you all know. So let's go ahead and hook up this uh butane bottle i'll show you how to turn it on it's really easy there is one difference between this and the buddy heater 
and that is it does not have a pilot. So I've never seen one of these that does not have a pilot. So that's another thing. Let's go ahead and turn it on. So to put your butane can in there, it's really simple, ladies and gentlemen. All you have to do is just insert it right there where it goes. You don't have to screw it in or anything like that. Just push it in as much as you can. And then, check this out. You see this right here where it says lock? As soon as you push it in right here, you can see that this lever right here where it says lock, you're going to press it down. That bottle is now in there. Or that can is now in there. You're going to close this back up. And to turn it on, it's really simple. Since this does not have a pilot, you have to go ahead and make sure that you pull this right here. This is going to allow the gas to go in, right? You're going to pull this lever right here. See this guy? You're going to pull this ring, pull it out. I'm going to do it with this hand, that way you can see. You're going to pull it out, and then your knob right here should be on the off position before you even put your bottle in, all right? So before you put your bottle in there or your can in there, you got to make sure that this knob is in the off position. So now as soon as you start turning the knob, it's going to allow gas to start flowing so that you can start it. And all you got to do is bring it down and you'll hear the gas and light it up. Then you let this go and it's lit. And right there, ladies and gentlemen, it's at high. It's on high. So it's at maximum BTU. This should be emitting 10,000 BTU. You can bring it down to minimum, which will be roughly about 4,000 BTU right there. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of heat coming off of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it on high. And let's go ahead and see about how long it takes to boil, uh, let's say, one cup of water. Okay, now before we transfer it over so that we can boil our water, I want to point something out that is different from the buddy, right? From the little buddy heater there, is that this one does not have a tilt function. Check this out. It will not turn off if you tilt it. So that's something that's not a pro, I guess, something against it. However, as far as it putting out heat, it puts out plenty of heat. And to turn it so that you can heat something on it or cook something on it, all you have to do is bring it up just like you see me doing here until you hear that click of that knob. You hear that? Now it's ready for us to put something on it so that we can heat it up. All right, so I've got a pot with about one cup of water in there. We're just gonna put it right on top of there. And let's take a look at our clock. Our clock says 8.16 in the morning. Full stop, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot to show you something else that it comes with. Actually, you don't do that, I'm showing you wrong. It actually comes with a little grill that you can put on top of the cover. See that? So that you can put a pot that's maybe bigger than what I'm using right here. But I'm pretty sure that if you have one small enough, just like the one that I put on here, that you can put it right on top of the grill. But they do provide this, so you might as well use it. And as you can see there, the water is starting to bubble. Let's see what the temperature is in there. 186 degrees. And we can see some steam coming out of there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what temperature it's in there. It's at 189 degrees right now. So it is heating up. However, I think it's a little too long for it to heat up. We're, we're already at uh, 821. So it's taken roughly about four or five minutes for it to heat up to 189 degrees. Let's see what it is now. 210 degrees. So we can pretty much say that that's boiling. And it is boiling. Check this out. To turn it off, all you do is turn it off. And it's off. I'm going to go ahead and let this cool off a little bit up here before I grab it to take it off. And then I'll show you how to put on the propane bottle. To take out the butane can, all we do is just release the lever right here. Release it up. And that's it. It's out. You can put it away. It is recommended that when it's not in use, you should have any can or propane off of it. And they also recommend that before you put this away for storage, that you go ahead and start it again, just to make sure that there's no gas in the line. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start it just like we did before. We're going to go ahead and pull this little ring right here. And there's nothing coming out, so it's good to put in storage if that's what you're going to do. So now let me show you how it is that we go ahead and hook up the propane can on this. So to hook up the propane can, it comes with this hose. There's an opening here on this side. I'm sure you can see that. And all you do is, is you just screw this in to where the can was at before. And this only needs to be finger tight. There is a rubber gasket. And as long as it's seated well and it's finger tight, then you're good to go. Now all we have to do is take our can and screw it in here. Same thing with the can. You don't need any tools for this. Then take your can, put it on a surface as far away as you can from the stove. And now all we have to do is follow the same steps that we did before in order to start it. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's working just fine. I probably have about a half of a bottle left of that propane. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and let this run probably for about the next... 35 40 minutes, but I can tell you right now that I need to turn the heat down Because look at this. I actually took this and put it back on my desk because I thought it was too close But right now we're at 67 degrees So it's getting a little too warm in here and I can actually feel the temperature rising So right now we have this pretty much on low We'll go ahead and keep it on low and we'll check in in about 30 minutes 45 minutes or so and show you what the temperature is and let me tell you what, for, I think this is like 69 bucks, so it's about 12 bucks, 20 bucks less than what the Buddy Heater costs. Uh, the fact that it takes two different types of fuel, I really like that. The fact that it's actually doing a really good job heating, I like that as well, because like I said, I know I'm sitting right across from this, but the room itself is getting up there in temperature a little bit, at least for my favor. Uh, i I rather have it be around 65, 63 degrees, that's comfortable for me. Anything above 65 starts getting a little too warm. But also the fact that you can use this to put a grill on it and actually boil some water or cook some eggs or even fry something up if you need to. I kind of like that option on this. I don't like that it doesn't have the tip over where if it tips over, it shuts off. But I do like the versatility of it as far as the fuel. You can cook on it and all those things. So we'll check in in a little bit and let you know what the temperature is in here so that we can see whether this is actually worth having. So far, I think it is because of all of the things I just said. However, ladies and gentlemen, these things, unless you use them every single day, you're really not going to be able to gauge long term how it's going to work, if it's going to last as long as other things that have already proven themselves throughout time, like the buddy heaters have. However, this is such a simple machine, just like the buddy heaters, a simple machine that I can't see a lot of things going wrong with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to turn this off because it's getting way too hot in here. I think it's just because it's not that cold outside. But look, I had, I had the thermostat away from this. That's, that's way too hot for me. 69 degrees now i do want to show you something else this is a co2 detector carbon monoxide detector or carbon dioxide detector i always mess that up that's right next to my big window up here and here it's 64 degrees so the farther away from this big window that we are the warmer it was because obviously we don't have that ambient temperature trying to come in from the outside all right, so it is a little bit cooler here. However, man, that's just too hot for me where I am. So what do I think about the old door gas little heater here? You know what? I think it's a good little heater. I don't like that it won't turn off if it gets tipped over, but you know how I feel about that. If you are using a heater like this or a big buddy or a regular buddy, that if it's on, you should always be in the room with it, right? Uh, however, being that you can cook on it, you know, pretty easily, I like that being that it takes two different types of gases. I really like that a lot as well. And being that it's so easy to turn on because it's just such a simple machine. I mean, there's a lot of good things about this. It's a really hard decision for me to make. If you were to ask me right now, what would you buy? Would you buy this or would you buy the, the buddy heater? If you only had one choice, even though the buddy heater is only about 10 bucks more than this. And sometimes you can find them on sale for about three or $4 more than this. 
I think I would probably get the buddy heater, but this here is actually a good little heater and I really like that it uses two different gases. I think that's what I like about it the most. Having said that, I hope you got something out of this. If anything, it was kind of a fun experiment. Uh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and be uh, boxing that up and putting it away in deep storage because, ladies and gentlemen, I'll tell you what. This thing is just burning me out of here. The same thing with the buddy heater. When I tried it, when I did that review with it, it was burning me out of here, and it's just too hot for this very small room. So if you're looking for something to keep a hot room in case of emergencies, I would say that either this or even the buddy heater would work. Uh, but I would have to choose the buddy heater first and foremost just because it's been proven for the test of time. It does have that knockover function and it also has an oxygen sensor where if the air in the room that is being used to heat this thing, to heat the buddy heater, if it gets too little oxygen in there, it will turn off also. So I hope you got something out of this. Have a great day. God bless every one of you. I'm Alaska Prepper. God bless America. And I'm out.